I mean, there was it was three or four of them um, just trying to gather information on. Obviously, there's a lot of studies, you know, going around about former players and, and whatnot, and you know, CTE stuff, and just try to gather as much information as I can. How accurate the, you know, is it being overblown in the media? Is it is it accurate? What's going on? But the biggest question I had was, uh, you know, do you guys feel safe? You know, do you think I'm I'll be safe to return once I'm fully back healthy? And I think uh, most of them said yeah. So. Um, you know, and that, that gave me a lot of comfort knowing that, you know, hey, when this thing's all settled and, and gone, then uh, basically hit the reset button and, you know, continue to continue to play. You so know, You said most of them said yeah. Does that mean one of them? <laughs> said no? I knew that was coming. A um, <laughs> few of them had different opinions, I think, but for the most part it was, I think it'd be, you'll be fine to play. I don't think there'll be ramifications further down the line if you continue to play. So um, it was some, there were some tough conversations for sure, but um, it is what it is, man. You gotta you gotta have those conversations. Uh, really, no matter what injury you have, you're always worried about. Uh, obviously, if it happens again and and, and future consequence. But uh, you know, for me, I think the biggest thing was um, I, I just got a lot of. I feel like I have. A lot of teammates in this locker room that are counting on me, you know, to be out there and to play, to play at a high level, um, and that's something that has, has always driven me and will continue to drive me. So I don't know if it's <laughs> not the brightest way to look at it when you're comparing your health, but uh, at the same time, it's it's, it's really all I know, and um, you know, I want to be known as a de- as a dependable guy. So I think that's that's something first as I try to try to think like those guys. Um, you know, I, I know anytime we have other guys that are injured, they feel the same way. They feel like. Teammates want you out there, need you out there, and uh, I'm not trying to say I'm that special, but I I, f- I feel there's a, a small <laughs> sense. That, Do you feel any more guys a risk by going back out there? Uh, it's risk. <laughs> it's, you know, it's risk playing football any day, no matter how healthy you are. Anything can happen to a rookie, a ten-year vet, anybody. So uh, yeah, there's definitely risk. I think all the players are are very well aware of that, and I think last year when I was coming off uh, my concussion, I said. You basically got to weigh the, the risk versus the benefits. And last year, I felt the benefits are, are much higher, and I still feel the same. So um, that hasn't changed. So um, try not to th- try not to overthink it too much. You can't go out there. You can't play scared. You can't you know, try to avoid certain things. You know, injuries happen. It's part of the game. I think everybody understands that. Is it a better that thing to is it a better thing to, to reconsider after the season? I mean, nobody wants to walk away in the middle of the season. Something you think about more when, once the season's over and reevaluate. Well, I think the off season is definitely a time where you, you know, finally have a couple of days to sit back, reflect, and, and think. So, um, yeah, I mean, cross that bridge when I get there. But uh, for right now, I'm comfortable where I'm where I'm at here, week six, and um, you know, I'm just glad I'm glad I'm feeling better. Hopefully, it's uh, hopefully it's the last time it happens. So, hey guys, thank yep. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.